Welcome back. James Hill is here now with National News. Let's send it over to him at the desk. Thanks, Brittany. In national news this week, the United States Department of Justice says it will fund a voluntary tracking device for children with autism or other mental conditions that can put them at, at risk for running away. The proposal was prompted by Senator Charles Schumer after the disappearance and death of 14-year-old Avante Cuendo. Cuendo had autism and wandered away from his queen school in mid-October. His remains were found in the East River on January 16th. Schumer said that the Department of Justice allowed existing grant funds to be used that is of a similar tracking program that is already existing for Alzheimer's patients. And some cruise line passengers are giving a sigh of relief after finally reaching the shore after one perilous cruise. Royal Caribbean's Explorer of the Seas finally docked in Bayonne, New Jersey Wednesday after a 10-day vacation cut short by a flu bug that sickened nearly 700 people. 630 of the ship's 3,000 passengers and 54 of the 1,100 crew members had come down with diarrhea and vomiting, common symptoms of the norovirus. Uh, while common on other ships, officials at the Centers for Disease Control have yet to confirm that norovirus was the culprit on the Explorer. The results of their testing are expected Friday. Royal Caribbean says they plan a severe sanitation of the Explorer, which is scheduled for another cruise next week. They've also compensated passengers with a 50% refund, as well as 50% off a of future cruise. And if your credit card has a charge of $9.84, you may have forgotten to return a red box, or you've been the victim of identity theft. The Better Business Bureau issued a fraud alert last week about a raft of consumer complaints reporting that that same suspicious amount had been charged to their cards. The fraud was uncovered by a former Washington Post employee who writes an investigative blog called Krebs on Security. Krebs writes that while people notice large charges on their accounts, small ones such as that often go unnoticed. The Better Business Bureau says if you notice a, suspic a suspicious charge of that amount, notify your bank, then report a complaint. And while we were bundled up in Pittsburgh this week, people in the southern states were hunkered down. An unusual storm on Tuesday dumped about two inches of snow in the southern states. Barely enough to qualify as a storm here, but enough to paralyze major southern cities such as Atlanta. It was responsible for nearly 1,000 fender benders and there were actually reports of six deaths. There were also reports of traffic backups nearly 10 hours long. And Georgia Governor Nathan Deal said that thousands of school children spent the night in their schools and that those children would get escorts home by the National Guard. Despite the events this week, the high temperature in Atlanta will be a much warmer 60 degrees on Saturday. And that's all for your national news next week. Let's send it back to Brittany at the couch. UVU's own Kelsey Metzger, Chris Hoffman, and Hunter Tresnicki secured media credentials Tuesday for President Obama's visit to Pittsburgh Wednesday. The President of the United States addressed media and Pittsburghers at the U.S. Steel Mon Valley Works urban plant in West Mifflin as a part of his tour to cities across the country following his State of the Union address Tuesday night. The President opened with remarks about the economy, and after a tour of the plant, he spoke to hundreds of people about how there was, about, excuse me, hundreds of people there about how the company helped build America. Let's take a listen to what he said. It's great to be here with the men and women of U.S. Steel. This company helped build America, and over 100 years later, you're still at it. You forged the pipes that transport cleaner burning natural gas. You manufacture the lightweight alloys that our automakers use to build fuel-efficient cars. You're part of one of the great turnaround stories of this economic recovery, the rebound of the American steel industry. And look, you know, I just every time I go to a steel plant, I remember being a steel worker is hard work. But every single one of you is doing your part to make the country stronger. And because of your efforts, businesses like U.S. Steel have now created 8 million new jobs over the past four years, 9,000 new jobs in the steel industry alone. Our unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in more than five years. Our deficits have been cut in half. Housing is rebounding. Manufacturing is adding jobs not shrinking jobs for the first time since the 1990s. We sell more of what we make here in America to other parts of the world than ever before. Business leaders are starting to realize that China is no longer the best place to invest and create jobs. America is, the U.S. of A. 
in addition to talking about raising minimum wage, the president signed into action a president mem memorandum. Take a look. Here's what I'm going to do today. This is what this little table set up for. I'm going to sign a presidential memorandum to create a new way for working Americans to start their own retirement savings. And, and we're calling it My RA. And when it comes to saving for it, you can opt to save as little as $5 at a time. You can begin saving. This means you can begin saving as soon as you get a job. The money will be there for, for you when you retire, or in the case of an emergency, you can withdraw from the account without paying a penalty. I think it's really great that you know some Point Park students were able to get press credentials so soon in front of President Obama's arrival. No, I agree. Like That was such an incredible experience. I wish I could have been there myself. Great. Great work of UVU's Chris Hoffman, Kelty Metzger, and Hunter Tresnicki for getting that covered. After the break, after the break Johnny Fryrod will be here with weather.